In this lesson, we will learn how to break tangent in Maya. We would break a tangent to show either weight or impact. In this case, we'll use that feature to make sure that there is an impact when our tank hits this fallen object. Let's go ahead and get to it. We'll go to our show menu. Let's go ahead and show our controls. From there, we'll go ahead and grab the control object named Anim Transport, and then we'll jump to our graph editor. All right, sweet. From there, I'll go ahead and focus on the Translate Z channel. That's, of course, what is used to translate our vehicle forward. So we're going to work with that. And now we need to decide when our tangent will need to break and where as well. You'll notice that on frame 30, this is a moment where the vehicle is very close to our debris. And I'm saying it's very close. It's not quite touching the debris at that time, but we can always fix the keyframe. But this is clearly when we'd want to create our break. Now, where would we want to create it? Well, you'll notice that once we break the tangent, which we can do from the tangents menu, we can go ahead and just choose break tangent. You notice that once that happens, we can now move both halves independently from each other. So in this case, we'll probably want to drop our out tangent, just so that once we finally leave that key, the vehicle will go ahead and bounce. So take a look at what happens when we take the out tangent and drop that down. Watch, when we hit play, you'll notice that it's going to cause the vehicle to bounce, but then it will move forward abruptly, so we need to go ahead and fix that. And that's simple to do. We could just go ahead and grab the remaining keys. Let's hold down shift and we'll drag down just a bit. And remember, by doing so, we can lock the key's movement to only move in value, which is exactly what we want. We don't want to retime these keys at all. Let's now go to press the F key to focus in on our function curve a bit more. And remember, we can work with interactive zooming to zoom in even closer. So take a look at how much more detailed that is. I'm holding down Shift Alt and dragging up with the right mouse button. Cool, so from this I know that I need to go ahead and select that keyframe on 30, grab the out tangent, and drag that up a little bit more with the middle mouse button to smooth that out. We had quite a bit of an overshoot, so we needed to clean that up. Let's go ahead and see what happens now when we hit play. Now the vehicle is going to hit and then roll back. How cool. And then we can smooth this out just a bit more. We can go ahead and take the keys on 45 and 55, and we can remove them. Fantastic. At that point, I might go ahead and grab the key on 30, grab the out tangent, and just kind of pull that up just a bit more so the vehicle will roll back slower. Let's go ahead and hit play. There you go. So you can see it now rolls back after hitting on frame 30. Now, it doesn't quite hit our debris. So let's do this. We'll go to frame 30. We'll now go ahead and grab the key. And then we'll hold down shift and we'll drag up with the middle mouse button until our tank touches the object. And there we have it. In no time at all, really, we we're able to fix this animation. So now watch this. When we hit play, our tank is going to hit and then bounce back. How cool. So that's a look and it's working with broken tangents in Maya. Again, it's a great way to show impact. We can also use it to show weight. And let's say the character's hips during a walk cycle. So as they start to move into their down position and then out of that position, you can break your tangents to show realistic weight during that part of your walk. Now, how would we unify a tangent? Let me go ahead and show you that. Jumping back to the graph editor, if you ever want to, again, unify your tangency, you would simply go ahead and grab the key that you have broken tangency on. You can go back to tangents and you can use unify. Now, keep in mind, if you keep your tangency broken the way it currently is, and you unify your tangents, they will be unified, meaning they'll be together, but you can see a the type of wonkiness we get now because of the weird angle that the tangency has. So what you'd want to do 
after unifying your tangencies, you want to come to, let's say, auto or perhaps flat to kind of soften that out. Now they're truly unified, right? Also, you can work with the broken tangency tool right here on your toolbar. So here's how we would break our tangency, and right next to that, that's how we would unify our tangents. So we have a faster way of accessing those tools right here from the toolbar. But again, in this lesson, we've learned how to break tangency and Maya.